is Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So keep in mind guys that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't and also we could be talking to a cross watcher here yeah so just keep that in mind. Hi Jinx! Um, so also if you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. Also, if you would like some uh, extra monthly content or you'd just like to support the channel, check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Lots of great stuff over there. And the link to that can be found in the description box below. Yes. All right, Scorpio, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. So... Uh, you look, look, the struggle is real for water signs right now. I mean, all of y'all are going through some sort of release or change is what I'm hearing. What you have, Scorpio, is the five of swords, the ten of wands, the sun, okay? And then overall energy, you have judgment with the hermit and the ten of swords. I swear to God, I swear to you, Scorpio, I shuffled these cards for a few moments in a few, in very, in a, in two different ways before I got into your reading. And you still got a lot, almost all of the same cards for you have come out, have just come out for you. That came out for Pisces when I, with the reading I did right before you. And it's interesting because in the Pisces reading, death came out in the overall, I'm sorry, in the pre-shuffle energies. And for some reason, I was guided to mention scorpionic energy. So either you are a Pisces, uh, you have a Pisces Scorpio dynamic going on in your chart or something. I don't know. Or maybe if this resonates for you, you should watch maybe the Pisces video. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, Scorpio, for you specifically, what I picked up on with these pre-shuffle cards or pre-shuffle energies is that you have been fighting towards something that has at this point only become overburdensome. I mean, the fight itself, the argument itself, the battle itself was a burden to begin with. But now it's just reached the point where it's not even worth it any longer. And I feel like you are now starting to see a way out of it. Or there is a more peaceful energy that is washing over you at this point because you're just so tired of fighting, fighting against this or fighting for this. You have the Five of Swords which is a losing battle for all parties, right? You have the Ten of Wands, burden, strife, and you have the sun, recognition, clarity, seeing something clearly, realizing something. That's what I'm getting from the sun, realizing something. And I feel like it's that moment that, it's that, that moment where you came to the realization that this is just not worth the fight any longer, but it's being represented as the sun, Scorpio, because this is such a relieving thing. Like, okay, so nobody won the argument or you're pulling out of the argument now and those people or these individuals that are involved or individual that is involved is looking at you, mocking you. Ah, look at this coward. Look at this son of a bitch pulling out like a fucking pussy in that Five of Swords energy, right? But you, in your clarity, even though they're, they may be saying this, that, and the third, cursing you out left, right, and center, you actually feel really good. The sun, why? Because regardless as to what those people are saying about you, you have removed yourself from the situation in which ultimately you have relieved yourself of the burden. So they can go on talking all kinds of shit, calling you all kinds of names as long and as much as they fucking want. But the reality of the situation is, Scorpio, you won. Why? Because you're relieved of this energy now. That's why the sun is here. That's why the sun is representing the illumination, but it's the clarity, it's the feel, like it feels so good. I don't even care. I'm just so relieved that I don't have to carry this burden any longer. Judgment, the hermit, 10 of swords, eight of cups. All my tarot peeps know what that means. But it's like there's a higher awareness that's calling to your attention. 
and got your attention. And you looked within and said, I don't want to be fighting this shit any longer. I don't need to fight this any longer. So I'm going to walk away. Bye, Felicia. Right. Okay. Cute. All right, Scorpio. That's excellent. I like that for you. Let's clear the deck here. Let's give this, let's shuffle this up a few more times. Yeah. And then we're going to get into the rest of your reading here. So we're going to, we're going to shuffle. I'm going to give this five shuffles, five official shuffles. And then I'm going to, we'll cut the deck and we'll see what the rest of your message is for this month. Yeah. Excellent. Five shuffles here for you, Scorpio. One. This is two. This is three. For my Scorpios, sun, moon, and rising. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising sign, guys, for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you during this time period, yeah? This is four. For Scorpio. And this is five. All right, Scorpio. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. Well, shit. There you go. You're showing up for your reading now. But it's the same shit as Pisces. You might want to check out that Pisces reading. Death. <laughs> Underneath death is the, ch the chariot. Oh, shoot. Underneath the chariot is the queen of swords. Oh, shoot. Underneath the Queen of Swords is the tower. Well, shit, Scorpio. This is great. This is really great. It feels like you're in alignment. You don't give a flying fuck what anybody else has to say about it. Like, straight up, shut them down. Shut that shit down. Easy. Done. Instantly. No questions asked. Shut that shit down, Queen of Swords. And this is a pretty big transformation for you, death. And then you have the tower. Uh, death Between death and the tower, Scorpio, this feels like a massive transformation for you. But it's also what it feels like the most here, Scorpio, is this is what I'm hearing is this is a transformation of character. Transformation of your alignment. Transformation of your drive. But I guess the, 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 the phrase that fits the most, that's the most appropriate here, Scorpio, is transformation of character. So, and that is directly reflected in the situation or the fact that there was some sort of ongoing feud, ongoing argument, ongoing <clears throat> struggle that you don't seem to want to be involved with any longer. And that right there is enough of an idea of view into how your character has changed or how you've gone through an element of character development through all of this. And it feels like for some of you here, what it was, what it is you were fighting for was a really, for was, was pretty fucking petty. <laughs> like, like, like there's real, there's no real logical basis behind this. There's no real reason to fight for this other than a sense of pettiness. For some of you, that's not for all of you. For some of you, that's what this feels like. But ultimately you come out of it. You've gotten to a greater alignment. You're very sure of your alignment and you're cutting out anything that gets in the way. And it doesn't even feel like you're cutting it out and arguing with them. Again, another element of this character development that you're going through, character transformation of character. Whereas in the past, you may have argued the point and or tried to tear somebody down in the process is what I just heard. Instead, you're not even giving it a second thought. Queen of Swords. It's like, uh, no. Well, why? Who the, what, what do you mean why? No, the answer is no. I'm cutting this out. I'm cutting this off there. I'm not even, and I'm not even going to try and argue with you about it. I'm not even going to try and discuss it with you. The answer is no, or whatever is appropriate to this situation, right? Whatever phrase would be appropriate that cuts something out or cuts something off. Okay. No questions asked. I don't want to argue with you about it. I don't need a second opinion and I damn sure don't need your opinion. Okay. Cute. Moving forward, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half. First half of your reading is going to look at the past up until the current energies. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies you have. Oh, look at that. 
God, Scorpio. The Eight of Cups again. Bye, Felicia. I'm done. No questions asked. I don't need an explanation. And I damn sure don't need to give you one. I'm out of here. Eight of Cups is coupled with the Three of Swords. Because this has been a, a, a self-perpetuatingly destructive situation. And you're wanting nothing to do with it any longer. I'm hearing no holds barred. You're just getting yourself out of there. Because you're tired of the pain. And, they're in, and the more that you stay, let's, I guess let's call this an energetic vibration. The more you stay in alignment with this specific type of vibe, the more and more and more and more and more of this heartbreak will be generated. This pain will be generated. This destruction will be generated. Okay? And that's what it is you're walking away from. You're not, you're not walking away from anything other than pure pain, sorrow, and heartbreak. Period. Good. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading, you have the Four of Swords. First of all, I feel like you've given it a lot of thought into, into how it is you want to move forward. Second of all, I feel like you're maintaining this energy of trying to keep as level ahead as possible. And it's interesting, but that's also what this Queen of Swords is representing. It's representing you being in a level head and doing anything that you need to do or anything that is necessary within within healthy means of maintaining that level sense of mind space, okay? Four of Swords. Four of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Yes, that's right. Because you are keeping, and now you're needing to keep this mental clarity this mental stability so that you can move forward so that you can don't so that you so that you can avoid getting sucked into the past energy and find yourself popping off in ways that you used to in the past that are not of service to you any longer and that you fully recognize the reality of Aha! okay cool i like this scorpio your challenge here in the first half of your reading is the magician so manifesting exactly what it is that you want that is in direct opposition to where it is you're coming from. That is a challenge here right now. And that's also why you're needing to keep your mind clear, centered, and focused and in order to persevere with this so that you can continue to manifest something else, something different, something new, something better, something beneficial. Okay? The magician is coupled with the page of pentacles. That's right starting something new okay stepping into the new reality creating something new starting from the ground up building from the ground up building something new your challenge is to maintain this level of being in this self-mastery but also being in this master manifester mode so that you can build something new and it's your challenge because this is a new reality this is a brand new step this is literally like taking the first steps in this new direction or towards building this new reality okay this is beautiful your closing message or potential outcome scorpio in the first half of your reading is the three oh, the three of pentacles beautiful building from the ground up or reshaping your foundation or working on yourself self mastery everything that you have been leading that everything you've been dealing with up until this point has been leading you towards creating a new sense of self three of pentacles is coupled with the knight of swords create i mean there are a lot of similarities between this reading and pisces reading but this one is pretty fucking specific because in pisces reading in the first half last the closing message or a closing uh, uh potential outcome or closing message or potential outcome had the knight of swords as well they had the knight of swords with the page of swords i'm sorry with the page of cups i believe um, but anyway, they had the Knight of Swords. I do remember that. And it was a similar energy to yours. Whereas you are, they were prepared to fight for something should a fight come to them. However, I didn't really feel them looking for a fight. And I wouldn't, it, I wouldn't advise looking for a fight ever, let alone at this point. Okay. <laughs> for you, Scorpio, it's a little bit different. 
<laughs> for you, Scorpio, it's a little bit different because you could actually be looking for a fight. Like what I feel like here is yes, you are you are fighting for this new sense of self. You're fighting for the ability to build this new foundation for yourself. But also what I'm getting with this Scorpio is a twinge of, I wish a motherfucker would. Like, I dare you to step to me right now. I would love to slice and dice your ass, turn you into sushi. I'm not going to provoke it. I'm not going to go looking for it, but you better not come at me with it because I will cut you. But this is all in an energy of defending this sense of self-mastery that is coming forward for you. That actually what I'm hearing is that you are putting forth. It's not just that this self-mastery energy is coming through and expressing itself forward through you. It's like you're literally, you're literally putting this forward. This is in the forefront of your life and this is a conscious effort to do so or there is a conscious effort to do so. And as a result, you kind of feel like that defensive mother that will rip someone or something to shreds that even thinks about putting her babies in danger, right? Yeah, there's definitely a twinge of aggression. <clears throat> which feels quite natural to you, Scorpio. So I'm not gonna reprimand you for that. I'm not gonna come down on you. I'm not gonna be like, well, rein it in, Scorpio. No, 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 no. No, no, this is your sense of self-mastery. You mastering yourself as the individual that you are, regardless as to what anybody else has to say about it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna be all like, whoa, Scorpio, rein it in. It's like, no, no. I'm gonna say, y'all better watch the fuck out. If you got a Scorpio around you that's going through this energy right now, do not poke the bear or the bull. Or you, you, you are asking for it at that point. Because I'm like I'm in that I'm holding this position right now where like this is happening, and if I were in the area, if I were around, if I were involved, I should say, and I'm sitting there saying, "Yo." Homie, homeboy, homegirl, like slow your roll. Like don't go, don't come at Scorpio like that, man. I'm telling you, you don't want to do that. And they're like, what the fuck ever. They need, nah, 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 nah. and they go after it. I'm just going to sit back and watch the, the carnage. I done told you. You didn't want to listen. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to, well, you should, you should reprimand Scorpio for what they, uh, no, I'm not going to actually. Because nobody told you to stick your neck in there in their business trying to tell them what's what to begin with. <laughs> like, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> no, I'm not going to come to your defense. Nope. I'm not going to get mad at Scorpio either. I told you. Shit. Walk your shit. Jump on out there then. You bad. Oh, but now you can't handle the consequences? Now you want to come, come crying to me or crying to someone else? Look at what they did to me. We told your ass. Don't go back out there then. <laughs> Whew. All right. <laughs> Let's get into the second half of your reading. Yeah, Scorpio? So we're going to be looking at the current... <laughs> The current energy off into the future, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. In the second half of your reading, you have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, immediately, the first thing I think of with this, Scorpio, is the Karmic Hamster Wheel. But I can't really, I, I can't really tell if this is the wheel that you're getting yourself off of or if this is the process of you staying in alignment to create something new to change your karmic reality. I just feel like the wheel is spinning. The wheel is spinning. The wheel is spinning. But I can't really tell anything else other than that. All right. The wheel of fortune is coupled with... Ah, the ten of wands. And now I understand why I can't tell. Because this is a decision that you have to make, Scorpio. Either you can stay on this wheel in terms of all this burden... Or you can do something to alleviate this burden and effectively change your karmic loop, your karmic cycle. So I understand, which, which doesn't, which after everything we've been saying so far in this reading, Scorpio, that kind of feels 
like I'm backtracking on what it is I'm saying, but I'm not. Because what I'm hearing here, Scorpio, is you know what decision you have to make. Or at least if you don't know, and maybe some of you are like, okay, but no, the decision is how do I flesh this out? Like, how do I go about this? Okay, that may take a little bit more discerning, but ultimately, I mean, what I heard was you know what decision you have to make. And if you're not making this decision or if you're holding back or resisting or procrastinating maybe in terms of making this decision, I feel like it's around how to actually go about it. But you don't need to know the details or the specifics of that end of the situation, Scorpio, to know exactly what it is you need, how it is you need to move or what it is you need to change what it is you need to alleviate yourself of. It's not necessarily knowing what exactly do to, to alleviate yourself. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Wands is representing you needing to accept the fact that something needs to be released. And then actually how to go about that will come later. But what I think is necessary here right now, Scorpio, is your acknowledgement that X, Y, and Z actually does have to be released, let go of, cleared out of your way space needs to be created here is what i just heard okay second set of surrounding energies for you scorpio in the second half of your reading you have the empress this is giving me strong fertility vibes and what i'm getting from this empress energy for you right now scorpio is, ow 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 that hurt okay good i didn't break any skin um, but I totally just kicked the underside of my desk here. But anyway, what I'm <laughs> sorry, what I'm getting from this Empress energy is literally an unconditionally loving and ex and an infinitely fertile vibe. So I, what the universe is saying to you here with this Empress energy moving forward in the future is that there is there is endless amounts of fertility for you. There are a plethora of different ways that this is, can work out, or there are a plethora plethora of different ways. Um, different thing, different ways that this could be generated for you. I'm just getting a strong fertility vibe. And that's kind of leaning or lending to this feeling of safety and security that, and, and confidence that you can create anything, no matter how things look right now. That fucking hurt, man. It like hit a point at the top of my foot, almost like a pressure point at the top of my foot and it's just like radiating throughout my foot. It's crazy. Okay, anyway, <laughs> the Empress is coupled with the Eight of Wands. This literally, Scorpio, this feels like reassurance that you could literally go anywhere. Don't allow yourself to be held, by, held back by um, feeling like... Okay, feeling like anything is impossible when it's not. In the grand scheme of things, in reality, it really isn't impossible, Scorpio, all right? Uh, your challenge in the second half of your reading here is the Page of Cups dreaming up a new reality. And what I'm getting specifically for you, Scorpio, is allowing yourself to dream of a new reality. Allowing yourself to get creative. Fucking get abstract with it, or uh, Oreo, Scorpio. Oreo, that's funny. Get abstract with it. Like, go wild. Let your, let your imagination just run amok and see what it comes up with. And then ask yourself, okay, how do we, okay, like allow yourself, allow yourself to be imaginative, okay, and just come up with all kinds of crazy stuff and then bring the practicality into it. Yeah, allow yourself to dream, but then be like, all right, cool. Now, how do we got the options? We've got the dreams. Now, how do we practically make this happen? And remain open in that part of the process too, okay? Page of Cups is coupled with mm, the Four of Cups. Yes, yes, Scorpio. Your challenge is to allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to be open to the possibilities. Allow yourself to be creative. The wilder and more abstract, Scorpio, the better. Because... If you dream big, you could always take that big, big dream and kind of whittle it down, you know, like work it down to a little more of a practical aspect. But you're not going to be able to get there if you're being too practical to begin with. Like that practicality is the death of the creative process. 
right? If you're, if you're demanding or requiring yourself to be extremely practical from jump, no, let yourself dream and let yourself dream big and then start to, okay, let's rate it in a little bit to make it so that we can actually make it happen. But the, you know what I mean? Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading, you have oh, the 10 of cups. I like that. Dream big, Scorpio. I think that's what I want to title this reading. Dream big. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. Do not let a lack mentality dim your shine or kill your dreams, Scorpio. Don't do it. Do not allow that to happen. Dream as big as you possibly can. Let's close this out with Oracle Guidance. I want to get Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck for you, yeah? Four shuffles, okay. Which do you want? Four shuffles, got it, one. For my Scorpios, to close out this reading for your month of September 2021, this is two. This is three. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Scorpio. And this is... All right, Scorpio, let's see what we've got for you. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Scorpios. Ooh, there it is right there. Okay. <laughs> Card number 53, Goddess Jiwang Mu and Stromatolite. Rare success. I, I don't even, I don't think in the years that I've been reading, using this deck, I think I may have gotten this card maybe once or twice. It's gorgeous. But I laugh because of the name of the card. Rare success. Dream. Allow yourself to dream big, Scorpio. Let's read this. 53 boils down to an eight, which is a number of abundance. The Empress. 53. Okay. Here we go. We bring you the empowerment of rare success. You are bringing something utterly unique, special, and precious to the world. Whilst there are creations that are worthwhile and valuable which can manifest swiftly, there are others that are labors of love requiring diligence, strength, and long-term commitment to bring them to life in the world. These exquisite creations are the divine manifestations of rare success, that which shall stand the test of time and offer a legacy of comfort, encouragement, and divine grace for generations to come. I want to read this part for you as well. Ji Wang Mu comes to you with a reassuring message of patience, application, and commitment. You are growing. You may compare yourself to others and wonder why you aren't striding ahead in leaps and bounds as they may seem to be. But it takes far less time to assemble a house of cards that does not, than it does a palace. The grander the contribution you are going to make this lifetime, the greater the care, time, and attention to the foundations. If you are feeling patient, though at times perhaps a little restless to continue with all that needs to be done, then you understand this. If you are feeling insecure, worried that you are not making progress because you feel like you are still lying around laying ground stones whilst others have already beginning, began painting their roof tiles, exclamation point, then you need to relax, trust, and understand that any sense of being, quote, held back, unquote, or needing to go through more lessons is not a sign of weakness or inadequacy. To the contrary, it is a sign of spiritual empowerment and preparation for the full substance of your spiritual gift to manifest in the world, which shall be a rich and rare offering, capable of bringing great spiritual support to ready souls. Excellent. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of... October. Yes? Excellent.
Take care. Mm -hmm.